Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Mass from the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you and your loved ones are in good health. Please check our parish website for updates and for links to devotions and other information, as well as how to continue to su financially support the parish as we journey through this virus pandemic. Thank you for your continued support. Our presider today is Archbishop Hunt, and our entrance chant is, Blessed Are They, number 522 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. We come together to give God praise and to ask for his assistance in our needs. As today as a province, we begin uh, to move to alert level three. I'm offering the Mass today for uh, uh, in time of pandemic, praying for God's blessings upon us as we move through this next stage uh, in uh, this pandemic situation. I invite you also to remember in your prayers today a priest of our diocese, Monsignor Francis Puttister. Today he is celebrating his 43rd anniversary of priestly ordination, so we pray for God's blessings upon him as well. That we may worthily bring all of our prayers and intentions to our Heavenly Father, let us pause for a moment to call to mind his goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray. Look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the fishbite said to, said to King Ahab, As the Lord of God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years except by my word. The word of the Lord came to him, saying, Go from here and turn eastward, and hide yourself by the wadi chir which is east of the Jordan. You shall drink from the wadi, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. He went and lived by the wadi Cherith, which is east of the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the wadi. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is number 198 in the Catholic Book of Worship.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. The first of the Beatitudes that we hear this morning from the Gospel of Matthew is, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I remember hearing a, preach, a priest preach on this particular Beatitude once, and I still remember well what he said. He, he noted that in the Beatitude, Jesus says, Blessed are the poor in spirit that it has nothing to do with financial want or need, but has to do with a poverty of spirit, uh, which is an attitude towards whatever riches or poverty we might have. And he used the image of the open hand. He said poverty of spirit is standing open-handed before the Lord and saying, okay, Lord, give me what you want, take from me what you want. To have that poverty of spirit, that trust in God that allows us to stand open-handed before him, receiving as well as giving, but confident that God knows what he's doing and will give us what we need. We see the prophet Elijah in our first reading today very much living that uh, he has been told by the Lord to go out into the Wadi Terrace and to live there. And in that Wadi, there's a, a, a creek, a brook, uh, where there's water, so he's not short of water at all, but he has no food except that that the Lord provides through these ravens that bring him food day by day. I wonder if there were days where he sat there waiting for the ravens to come, hungry and wondering, okay, is God going to come through? Or was his faith so strong that always with that poverty of spirit, uh, he had no anxiety that way? I don't know. The challenge for us uh, is each of us to seek to live with that poverty of spirit. And to poverty of spirit, that doesn't mean that we just sit and let God take care of things, but rather that we trust that God is at work, both in terms of the things that we can't control, but also in terms of the things that he gives us and expects us to use well. Uh, the uh, AA movement has a prayer called the Serenity Prayer that, that addresses that. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. What has God given me? What does he want me to do with it? Those are challenging questions. A week ago, uh, yesterday, we celebrated Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit and the gifts he brings. And yesterday, we celebrated the Feast of the Holy Trinity, where we celebrate not only the Holy Spirit and the gifts he brings, but the gifts that he brings to us from the Father and the Son. As we continue in our Mass today, we ask the Lord to help us to, to live all of the Beatitudes, 
but particularly to have that poverty of spirit that allows us to trust in him. That poverty of spirit that helps us to recognize we have received the gift of the Holy Spirit in our lives and that that wisdom that the Spirit brings is there for us so that we might know what it is that God wants us to do and what it is he wants us to let go of and allow him to do his part. Us trusting in his goodness, us open to his power and his love. God bless you. One of the gifts that God has given to us through our faith is the gift of being able to pray, to bring to him our prayers and petitions, and to bring to him the needs of others. With confidence in God's goodness, then, let us pray for our Pope and for all our religious and spiritual le- and, and civil leaders, for God's wisdom for them, and that they may have the courage they need to use that wisdom in guiding us, especially during this difficult time. For this we pray to the Lord, who would hear our prayer. We pray for all those people that are struggling with seeking to know what they ought to do, that are struggling with anxiety or frustration or anger or hurt. We pray for them that they may be open to the Spirit and may have the Spirit's guidance. For this we pray to the Lord. Our prayer. For our province, as we enter into Alert Level 3, for all the members of our communities, that God may bless us and protect us during this difficult time of pandemic, we pray to the Lord for our prayer. We pray for the sick, for God's healing grace for them. We pray for the health care givers that that work with the sick, for God's guidance and, and wisdom for them. And we pray for all those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal life with God in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment to offer our own personal intentions. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning, both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us, by your power, a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope me, your unworthy servant, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 6.6, One Love Released, in the Red Celebrate and Songbook. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, present in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people. One love released Is not this bread we share The body of our Lord Is not this wine we drink The blood of Christ outpoured One bread, one body One faith, one spirit, present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one
Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need. And we are sure you will provide so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under, Under your protection, protection we, we seek refuge, refuge Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Do, Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious, glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, protect all who hope in you. Bless your people. Keep them safe. Defend them. Prepare them that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is Blessed Are the Pure in Heart number 471 in the Catholic Book of Worship.